So I'm Griffin Kay, I'm a 16. This is Hunter Johnstone, he's also a 16. Um, the problem we were looking to address with our engines project was the issue of melting and subsequently storing uh, drinking water in polar regions. So the first half of our project addressed uh, increasing the efficiency of a stove for melting. So our first prototype uh, is a normal stove that is wrapped in insulation and then has steel shielding to protect from wind. Um, so that increased the efficiency of melting by 1.2 times. And then afterwards for storage, we have our solar thermal device. Um, so the way that works is there's a solar thermal collector plate, which is an aluminum sheet with copper piping running through it. Um, and the sun heats that black surface, transfers solar energy to the antifreeze that's circulating through the system. Um, and then that gets circulated via a pump into the storage tank and subsequently heats the water in there. Um, and so we ran a test, left it outside for two hours in the sun um, on a fairly cold day, 10 degrees out, and it actually heated it by 15 degrees Celsius. So a lot better results than we expected. I think this can definitely keep melted water uh, in a liquid form for an indefinite amount of time without the threat of refreezing, which is obviously a huge issue in these polar areas. Mm -hmm.